two-minute flute tip Tuesdays. Hello, it's Dr. Kristen Bakiaki stewart Welcome. Today we will be discussing the relaxed embouchure. I have in my hand a contrabass flute. I will show you how important it is to keep a relaxed embouchure when you play each and every instrument. There are a lot of misconceptions about piccolo playing and how that could ruin your flute embouchure, but that is not true. If your embouchure is correct, it will make your embouchure stronger for playing flute and all the lower instruments. The key is a relaxed embouchure. Especially when playing the contrabass flute, your embouchure has to be super relaxed. I like to think about a sad clown face. If I make a sad clown face with my lips, that is the perfect way to describe how relaxed your embouchure needs to be. So I'm just gonna play a downward chromatic scale on each of these instruments so that you can see the embouchure. If my embouchure was tight, I would not be able to produce those low notes. So I'll just show you a little bit of my embouchure being tight. If my corners are pulled up, the airstream's not going directly inside the instrument and you're not gonna be able to get the sound. Next up is the bass flute. Here we are with a relaxed embouchure on the bass flute. Again, really relaxed embouchure. Next up is the alto flute. So here we are, same thing. That's gonna sound different because the alto flute is in the key of G, not C. The higher I play, the more relaxed my embouchure gets. So if you ever need a visual as to how relaxed your lips need to be when playing all these instruments, start from the bottom up. It's a really great way to remind yourself that the lips must be relaxed. That's today's two minute flute tip. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Two minute flute tip Tuesdays.